Hi everyone, let's start our testing journey with uh, the Nest.js and here I'm showing uh, all these components like controller, service, uh, repository and database because when you write a controller, you depend on the service when you write a service, service depends on the specified repository either you are using TypeORM, Mongoose model or Prisma models so your service indirectly depends on some repositories like in definition of TypeORM you are dependent on a particular entity repository right to fetch the data to get the data to update delete all different kind of operations so controller depends on your service service depends on the repository and repository is bringing the data from database so what we are going to mock what what we are going to write test for we are going to write test for controller so there is a controller uh, we will we will write a controller spec and we will write a service spec and how it is going to work when you are writing a controller spec you are going to mock the service and when you are going to write a service you are going to mock the repository so this is the only this is the the blueprint of how we are going to perform the testing because unit testing is all about mocking where when you write a controller because controller has the dependency injection of service so you have to mock all the service methods and service has the dependency of this entity repository so you have to mock the entity repository so you are not going to call the actual database you are calling the mock version of the repository so this is how this whole system works we are going to write test for controller service and mock repository so we are not going to hit the actual database we are going to just use a mock repository mock repository will use this get repository token which is actually representing the mock entity so you can perform the basic operations and you can mock the implementation provided by type r so it's all about mocking uh, unit testing is all about mocking and giving a mock representation of your type orm entities three baboons are showing the same picture that they are showing the mocking behavior of controller and service and how the mocking is done in nest.js can be understand understood by the custom providers so there are three different ways of creating a custom providers custom providers you can say is the different ways of creating the instance of the service okay you can create a custom instance uh, of having nest.js instantiated either nest.js instantiate for you or you can reuse the existing class or you can override the class with the mock dependency this is important because in testing we are going to use the mock dependency we have a service i will create a mock version of it and using this custom providers i will be using the mock version of the service instead of the, instead of the actual service version so here you can see these are the two, three different variations here provide use existing right this is also we use in the custom providers like uh, when you want to create a instance of a class with a new name but still class is the same then you can use a use existing here we are doing provide and use value this is really important and this is what we are going to use you can see cat service may be a some service which is going to de which is dealing with the database okay and what you are doing is you, you are providing the mock version of the cat service using use value so provide cat service and then use value is a mock cat service and in the mock cat service we can just define the mock methods okay get cat save cat create a delete cat update cat this is how we are going to override the definition of cat service in our own spe specific way there are other ways also like factory ways in which you are providing the particular service and then at dynamically you can define which class you wanted to use custom provider is important topic in the next years and this is how we define the providers the different ways of defining the providers using use value use class use existing use factory so this is very basic example we are talking in the first we i have just uh, just config and this is the same uh, advanced uh, github repository and here we have written a simple app controller spec or app service spec what do you think about uh, these two test code we have written i mean if you see what we are doing here is we are just using the factory pattern factory custom provider we are providing app service and app service definition is defined in the use factory 
Now, how can we change it? So, what I'm doing is I'm just creating a new version of it, new version of the same code. Here, I don't need to do anything. Here, I can define my providers, provide app service. And I can define the mock version of this service. Here, you can use all these options. What options you can use? Use class, use existing, use factory, and use value. These are the different ways in which you can define a provider. So most of the cases we are going to use use value. Okay, provide me this app service and use this mock version of the app service using use value. So use existing use factory and you can just use a use value and you can define provide a mock version of it. So he, here in the mock version, we are just defining both the functions with the uh, where get hello is just returning a mock hi. And if you are going to use a use factory, then you can, you can just use a you can just define the whole section here. How you are going to define this? This is an arrow function, and inside this, define both the mock functions. So if you have just wanted to use a use factory or use value, that depends on you how you wanted to use it. But you can also define the whole thing here using use factory. Now I fire on the tests, tests are passing, so we are good. So this is how the overall basic test is working. This is how I was going to show you that these are the providers like use factory, use existing, use class, use value. In most of the cases, you might be using use factory and the use value. Now let's write the actual test case like the user controller spec.ts or user service dot spec.ts. And in the controller, you can see what we are doing in controller there is a dependency we are injecting user service so somehow we need to mock the user service so i can check okay when i'm calling find all i got the data and the method has been called and method has been called with this object once you mock the find one i can i can call the find one method of the controller and can check okay find one has been called and find one has been called with this parameter this is and what is the result? This is the result when you are calling find one and the result is equal to, equal to this mock value. So this is the controller. We are injecting a service. So let's try to write our test case. In test case, we are going to put simple, simple definition. So mock user service. First, we'll create a mock version using just.fn. And then we'll create a before each block because because before executing any test case, we need to have a nest chess testing module initialized by passing the required module services controllers. Await testing module test.create testing module and here